Hey all, good morning. This video I am going to create completely for a precious. Okay, you are a college graduated, MBA or BE or MCOM or MSc, MCA or BCOM, BCA, BSc, whatever uh, like education you have done, right? So if you are looking for a non-coding side, right? You are not interested much on coding, or you want to get into IT side after a couple of years or maybe some experience you get into a into your domain or after that you want to become a consultant or you you want to become an analyst or you want to become a master data management or an ERP side right for them this is the video which I'm going to uh, give a summary of it uh, I don't know whether you all know about ERP what is ERP so how organizations are implementing ERP to their company, which business they are running and what ERP they want to, uh, they have to implement. Okay. So most of the fortune fund companies or the top companies, right? They definitely go for like a big ERP. So I can say, I can name few ERP systems like SAP, Oracle, uh, MS Dynamics 365, uh, then there are many in the market, right? So Salesforce, C4C, Ariba, Coupa, right? there are many ERPs which you can see in the market, OK? There are many, many, OK? I just, I just gave an example, but because I worked in a, a ERP systems, OK? SAP is uh, like major experience I have in SAP, and Ariba have a couple of uh, like few areas I know little, and um, Salesforce I just know about how it indicate with SAP, okay, not much. And now currently I'm exploring few other ERPs also based on my experience. Okay, so how as a fresher, right? Uh, you have to start your learning journey, right? An ERP. There are many YouTube channels are there. There are many e-learning portals are there. Free videos you can get learn as much as possible uh, whatever you find blogs or maybe videos or small paid services you find you just learn as much as possible okay so how to start your learning journey in erp right to choose which erp is good for you that you can identify okay you just research more about which are all the companies are implemented which erp system are you going to join such company as a user? Or are you going to join such company as a master data management guy? Or you're going to join as a uh, maybe researcher or analyst, or maybe you want to become a consultant, right? Or you want to join company where they are giving services to a business, business implemented one ERP, and they have to upgrade to other ERPs, or there are like six, seven ERPs are there that, that is integrated with each other, then you are going to give a solution of any particular ERPs, right? So to know all these things, basic understanding of ERPs is really required. And after that, you can go one by one. OK, what is SAP ERP? What is SAP S for HANA or Oracle, Oracle NetSuite? Right? Salesforce, you can find different activities, right? MuleSoft, Ariba, whatever it is, OK? Firstly, you should understand the business process. Okay, don't directly get into the application and then start just copy paste of whatever someone says. Okay, do this, do that, and you just configure it and test it, and then you just complete your job. No, that's not the right way of uh, learning in applications. First, you should get into the process knowledge. Okay, how you learn process knowledge, business, when after like after going into company only you can see the business, right? So. Without getting into the company or industry or any business process, how you can learn? I'll tell you the simple example. Now you're sitting at your home and uh, ordering some product online, right? Right. There are many. There are many apps are there. Okay. So how you are, how they will supply the product to you directly? They have to man manage all the inventory, right? Before you uh, look something product, right? Even you take any product which says delivery is after three days. Some product is like available on the same day. Some products are immediately available, right? 
So how they will manage their inventory and how they will set the delivery dates to you, right? So just in the front end, in the app, they will just put all the dates to you. But who is managing all this information in the back end? So how these applications are integrated with the other big ERPs, right? Where they will uh, understand the request, they will look into your order. Once order is placed, before order placed only, they will give a tentative date of delivery. Sometimes it may get delayed, or sometimes they will deliver early. Also, it depends. Okay, how the delivery dates are decided based on the stock availability. Right, first you should know about the whether that stock is available. Inventory is already there. Then how much time it it will take from uh, one place to other place, other place to ship, and from there it will come to your location destination. Right. So maybe inventory who is supplier is ready to supply the product within the day, within a day or maybe two days. Then from that to your location, shipping will take some time, right? Maybe within the state, it will be easy. I think in intrastate is fine. Interstate is difficult, difficult. And if something you're ordering from out of your country, right? Somewhere it, it is like not in India, then that Im imported from other country, then it takes more time, right? So logistics part. Metal management, then shipping, transportation, right? Then finance area, right? Calculation of the uh, finance part or settling of the bill or uh, invoice, whatever it is. There are many things you can see in the business process. So I worked in a uh, area called. Initially, I was into quality management, then production activities, then I got to know about SAP applications, user level understanding, and how to handle the uh, particular issues of a module. All that I understood in a a company where SAP is implemented was implemented. Okay, so from that I got a proper domain experience and even application knowledge. Okay, who are all looking for a? My suggestion is like who are all looking for an immediately consultant role? No, don't try for such a role in the market. Okay, join a company where already ERPs are there. Work for a one hour, a year, two years, three years. Then get experience of such. Uh, process. Then you understand the application very well. Then you take a personal training, or maybe a, a group training, or maybe you can talk to a consultants, or you can take any authorized organization to train, coach, get such get such experience. Then you look for an opportunity in the market with experience of two, three years, or four years, five years. What they are looking for, right? MNCs or any startup company who is working on the projects. Okay. So to become a consultant, uh, yeah. It, it depends. Some 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 are getting immediately a consultant role, analyst role into a, an organization based on the uh, campus in, uh, selection, or maybe there will be dry where they will hire freshers also, or train freshers, or gone through a technology or application knowledge or interns. They will hire. There are a lot of activities out there. Okay, so you can look such opportunity in the market where they are hiring in a mass. Then you can apply for such position. That's one option. In case you are not looking. Are not getting any opportunity in any big applications or ERP, then look for some other applications where you can start as a user level experience. Okay, and then later you can, okay, you are working in an Oracle uh, ERP now, you want to get into SAP uh, application company, then you can move from SAP Oracle to SAP, SAP to Oracle, whatever it is. It's, it's all about uh, which, which you feel better and your salary hike or maybe package also will be higher based on your experience in, and, in, and also about your knowledge about the applications okay then what is about uh, mass data management and all right like it's about the application where you are not job is not to manage any business process just your job is to take care of their master data activities regular basis to create a material or supplier or info record or sale order creation or billing or creation of uh, production order uh, Purchase order, whatever. There are many activities you can see in the user level process, right? So there you have to uh, create master data, not like transactions. Sorry, I mixed up with the master data and uh, transaction data. So master data is like just one time creation data in the system, and that will be used, usable, or used for running regular basis transactions. Like I'll take a simple example of material or supplier you create uh, in the system. It's a master data. One time you are creating a Material and uh, supplier. Then again, you can update as per the changes you get it from the business or from the internal team. But creating a requisitions, creating a purchase order, creating a quotation, creating a uh, receiving the goods or maybe posting invoice, right? 
uh, raising a sale order, production order, all these are regular transactions. On a daily basis, the users are creating multiple orders or multiple requisitions, multiple uh, GR posting, inventory management activity, whatever it is, it's a transactions, right? So when you know about all these things, okay, you can become an MDM expert, mass data management, or you can be a, uh, you can get into a data management uh, role, data analyst, or whatever it is. Not only specific to a one ERP, maybe multiple ERP they have in their company. Your your job is to manage all the activity internally. Okay, so some roles are there, specialist roles are there metal master or material management uh, specialist or controller, MRP controller, planning engineer, planning uh, execu executive or procurement analyst, purchase engineer, uh, inventory analyst, logistics uh, logistics side, there are many roles are there, Paros uh, management uh, executive, right? Uh, any roles you find in the business, right? There, your job is to handle the process of uh, daily activities and along with that you have to handle the entry of data in applications that's a uh, user level job i can say when you become uh, experience of application level and your business you can become a super user or you can become a power user or whatever role you can find inside the company or after some time they have their own it team to develop then you can become an it team also or like you can become a consultant in-house consultant or you can become a subject matter expert or group, group process owner, whatever role you can see in the company that you can lead it. Okay, you can become a project manager also, where you are managing all the projects and even application side also. Okay, this is about the business side. Okay, you want to get into uh, IT side, right? Uh, what are the roles are there, right? Uh, analyst role, associate role, then uh, senior associate, then consultant, senior consultant, lead consultant, uh, then delivery manager, uh, then principal consultant, solution architect, there are different roles are there in technology side. Okay, if you see any companies, okay, what I, I spoke about uh, previously, it's all about the business side. Example, you're working in Airbus, Honeywell, or uh, any projects like uh, Bharat Electronics Company, which I worked, right? Uh, the manufacturing company you are working, uh, you're joining as a uh, user role. Uh, they will not mention like a SAP user or maybe Oracle user, they will mention about the particular role that you can apply and you can get into such job. So when you see the IT side, definitely there are different roles out there. Uh, and nowadays I have seen uh, in IT side, they will be looking someone good in domain experience, then good in application, then they'll hire as an analyst role, okay? Identify anywhere, any roles are open for analyst role, then definitely you can apply as a fresher into a technology or IT side, you want to move, then look for analyst role then associate role, then senior associate, consultant, like the different roles are there, okay? So accordingly, you can modify your resume uh, as per the business requirement or maybe IT requirement, right? You can engage or you can learn additional skills which is there in the market, right? You can add on something over there. So from that, you can definitely uh, approach or you can compete with the market uh, with the roles or maybe requirement companies looking for. Definitely, anyone, like if anyone looking for a new role right so learning will be there so you have to learn and adjust i see some post uh, today so i saw some line so new learning and adjustments okay for every project or any any requirement what business is looking for or maybe it company is looking for any resource or role right so they cannot expect something 100 percent knowledgeable person to that role definitely they will see whether you are you're good with 70 80 percent then 20 percent can be filled during the on job on job time okay uh, while you're working only, you can add that experience or learn through your team members, okay? You will have a time to upscale yourself uh, during the working hours. Example, you're working for 10 hours or eight hours uh, as per the uh, billing time. So you can spend some three, four hours more or weekend time, you can learn additional skills then you can acquire such experience, then you can apply uh, where company is looking for a support, okay? And one more thing, uh, when you become a, a consultant or associate or analyst, right? So implementation time, implementation project, you may get some more time to uh, research and uh, uh, identify the solution and you can uh, implement, implement it accordingly. But during the support, right, it will have a shortage, maybe in the sh short time you should handle the pro uh, uh, issue of the company, right? Or maybe IT side or maybe business side. There will be a critical issue, high priority, medium and low priority, different levels of tickets will be there. 
so it will have a uh, like a time limit like if it is a low priority it will take 15 days time you can manage easily to solve uh, it's a medium priority maybe two days or one day or 24 hours i don't know like it depends on the sla service level agreement you get it from the company then there is a high level uh, cricket maybe eight hours you have to solve or maybe 12 hours time you will have to solve the issues then critical critical is very difficult to handle sometime okay uh, that requires definitely a more knowledge where business is not able to do anything which is going to create a lot of loss to the company because that issue is not solved within next two three hours it, it will be like three or four hours of time where critical issues are raised then definitely a senior resource who will be talking to a an, uh, like team and uh, whether the bridge call happens then from that you start working on the uh, problems solving the issues how to uh, give work around immediately to the business then if that is going on then every 30 minutes you'll be talking to the uh, it team and business to send the update what's happening what's going on whether it's for uh, solving within that timeline all that will happens then i will write a rca root cause analysis we'll make and then we'll update to the business side okay so critical issues is not easy to handle in a support project so and rolling out project is like what already implementation is done and uh, uh, maybe you take in India, they have implemented now, they have to uh, extend it for UAE side, okay, or maybe in Canada or other country, whichever country you see, they want to implement uh, their like applications, right? Then definitely it's called rolling out. Already they are using SAP or Oracle or other applications. Now they are going to rolling out to other country or origin, so which will be considered as a rolling out. Upgrade project is what applications are every year it will get upgraded right new versions are going to come then definitely you have to upgrade as per the requirement of business maybe new fetches or new versions or new changes will be there definitely that will be considered as an upgrade project okay upgrade is upgradation product project For example if you take sap uh like in 1909 or 2020 versions are implemented in on-premise and uh, now it's 2022 or 2023 versions is there in the market then business is looking for 2022 version on premise to be implemented. Then definitely they will move from a uh, 1909 is done in 2019 or 19 or 20 time. So that that was a version is implemented. And now after three years they are looking for something latest version to be implemented, which will help them to handle their uh, process uh, like uh, smoothly. Okay. Uh, then definitely it's called up upgrading to a, a newer version. Or somewhere they are moving from on premise to cloud because of some. Uh, a uh, new uh, requirement in the business definitely they want to store their data in a cloud version or cloud option so yes if you come up with that, that kind of a requirement uh, like uh, applications or maybe facilities then definitely business can move from a on-premise to cloud version okay okay there are many things are there uh, i have added uh, uh, the knowledge about the roles about the erp what is erp enterprise resource planning it's software uh, there are many softwares out there in the market and definitely you can look into it you can analyze you can even you can reach out to us for uh, more knowledge to acquire we will be giving uh, maybe keeping a couple of webinar or workshops to share a couple of experience to you all okay at the end everyone should learn and share knowledge to others who are looking for a uh, uh, new skills to update and definitely when we are talking to you or managing you personally or maybe live sessions uh, which will help you all to get like knowledge and plus motivation and kind of a human touch will be there right instead of going with the videos or maybe self-paced learning whatever you are doing it today but i can say shaped into a personal training which will help you all to get into the job on time or maybe in a short time don't drag much on only learning part at least you can execute as much as possible so thank you for watching this video and uh, if you have any questions or if you have any concerns or maybe kind of a support system you're looking for then you can comment in the comment box or you can reach out to our official number or you can send an email where we can look into your uh, open uh, doubts or questions and even we will try to keep a uh, uh, workshops or webinar here and there where you can join and you can ask your questions and we'll try to uh, try to answer your questions thank you all have a great day See you all soon in the next video. Thank you.